Let's learn how to create tank controls in Unity. Welcome back everybody to the second of our Halloween specials. I don't know about you, but I love everything about classic survival horror, from the fixed camera to the tank controls, which really made you feel helpless in the face of unimaginable horrors. So when you're ready, grab a Jill sandwich, let's crack on. Here I have a simple character I created and imported from Blender. You can use a placeholder cube if you like, that's quite all right. However, make sure that by default, your character model or character is facing forward on the Z axis, as we are going to use vector3.forward to move our character. Then equip your character with the necessary components. I have a capsule collider and a rigid body. I have frozen the rotation on the X and the Z axis to stop it from falling over. Then when you're ready, place it into your scene however you like, create a player controller script, attach it to your player and open it up. Here in the player controller script, I've already gone ahead and applied what I need in order to get my animations working for this character. If you don't have any animations, then do please ignore anything you see here with the tag animation. If you do, then I will explain how this works once we've got our movement in place. So for the variables for movement, we want two things. We'll have a public float for move speed and rotation speed. Then we'll have two private floats and those will be for the movement and the rotation which will be determined by our inputs. The inputs of which will be as follows. In the update method, we will have our movement be determined by input.getAxis on the vertical axis. So that will be our forward or back keys, W or S, multiplied by our move speed, multiplied by time.delta time. And our rotation will be the same again and our rotation will be determined by the left or right arrow keys, or A and D, which is on the horizontal axis. Therefore, input.getAxis horizontal multiplied by the rotate speed times time.delta time. That's all we need for the inputs. The movement won't happen in update, but instead we'll create a void late update. Late update happens the frame after update. So for the movement, Let's punch in transform.translate, and this will be our forward or backwards movement. And inside the brackets, we want to move along the vector3.forward along the z-axis, multiplied by the value of our movement. So if our input is positive, we'll move forward. If it's negative, we will move backwards. As for the rotation, we'll say that the transform.rotate and we have three axes here, the X, the Y, and the Z. We don't want to rotate on the X, so we'll leave that as zero. We want to rotate along Unity's Y axis, so that will be our value of rotation. So again, if it's positive, we'll rotate to the right. If it's negative, we'll rotate to the left. And we don't want to rotate on the Z axis, so we'll leave that as zero also. And that's it. That's our forward and back movement and our rotation all sorted. Great. This is all we need to have tank controls in our game. However, if like myself, you have some animations here, then don't forget to set up your animator component on your player character and make a reference to it in the start method. How the animation will work is simple. If our movement value is equal to zero, so we're not moving, then we want to set that ball in the animator is walking as false. So it will play the idle animation, for example. However, we want the walking animation to play if that value is not zero. So we'll just say that else is walking is true. We also want the walk animation to play when we're stationary and rotating left or right. And for that, while movement is equal to zero, if rotation is greater than zero, so moving right or rotation is less than zero, moving left, then again, walking will be true. And in dot set bool is walking true. Else, if we're not, then walking is false. 
And that's all I have. I just have an idle and a walk animation. So I set those up appropriately in the animator with the appropriate transitions of this ball. There we go. Hit save. Let's head back into Unity. Now all that's left to do is to give our character a move speed. I think three should be enough. And our rotation speed should be a little high. I'm going to go with 100. When you're ready, hit play. And now if you hit forward, your character will move forward, backwards. And let's turn. There we go. Simple tank controls for that classic Resident Evil style survival horror feel. If you enjoyed this, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really means a lot to us. And for the next video, we will be looking at how to create a very simple fixed camera system. So please do look forward to that in the future. Until then, thank you all very much for your continued support. I'm glad you're all enjoying your game dev journeys and I will see you soon. Take care.